Hello folks, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark V is expected to debut in the coming months as Sony's main flagship phone for the year. A new leak from an admittedly sketchy source has now revealed important details of the phone, including significant camera upgrades as well as launch date info. An image of what is believed to be the upcoming Sony Xperia 1 Mark V has popped up online, highlighting the changes that have been made to the camera array. The Xperia 1 Mark IV features a vertical camera bump with a 12 megapixel main unit, a 12 megapixel ultrawide snapper and a 12 megapixel telephoto shooter. It also has a time of flight sensor for determining depth information and an RGB IR sensor for optimal white balance adjustments. Leaker Zach Bikes found a picture of the Xperia 1 Mark V on eSATA forums and shared it on his Weibo account. Even though he isn't completely sure if the picture is authentic, he has made a few interesting observations. Firstly, it looks like Sony's next flagship will do away with the 3 dt of and RGB IR sensors. He adds that the AI-focused tracking technology will likely make up for the missing T of unit. Thus, we're left with three big sensors and they look bigger than on the One Mark IV, of which the lowest one houses a periscope camera. Zach Bags also believes that the phone sports new main and ultrawide angle sensors. That's interesting because an earlier leak had said that the phone could feature a new telephoto camera if both these rumors pan out. The Xperia One Mark V will have a whole new camera array from top to bottom, and this may help it become the best camera phone of 2023. Other than that, the LED flash has moved into the island in the upcoming model, whereas it was outside the island, above it, in last year's handset, giving the phone a cleaner look. The mic has also been placed on the camera strip to allow for clearer voice recording while shooting videos. You can spot the NFC logo to the right of the camera island, which means this leaked unit is the international version of the Xperia One Mark V. If it was the one destined for the Japanese domestic market, then we'd have gotten the Thelica logo instead. According to a Chinese Lixtan Weber, the Xperia 1 Mark V will use Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, which is not a surprise, it will also be the thinnest smartphone to use the chipset, and that could make it the hottest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 device around, literally. Of course, Sony is expected to have some kind of cooling solution, and hopefully that will alleviate the thinness, but that remains to be seen. Supposedly the Xperia 1 Mark V will sport a 6.5-inch QHD Plus display with a variable refresh rate ranging from 1Hz to 120Hz. This display is said to be an E6 AMOLED panel. According to earlier reports, the Xperia 1 Mark V might be considerably cheaper than the Xperia 1 Mark IV to better compete with the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And that would be very helpful for the smartphone. As usual with Sony flagships, many people like them for their features like 3.5mm jack, SD card, no notch, but in reality like 1% actually buy them due to either being very expensive or not available in many markets. They also have bad release dates months after their presentation. Last but not least, it's laughable to pay that much money for a flagship with worse software support than some mid-rangers. Sony has confirmed just two major OS updates so far. Sadly, without a good inter-device ecosystem and long software support, Sony would be used only by minority of people who uses SD card and headphone jack. Even not everyone who said no headphone jack, SD card, no buy is actually buying Sony. And Sony adds rubbish DOF RGB sensors on their phones but never makes use of their own best camera sensors that is currently the IMX989. Still, I'm looking forward to it and I wish Sony to release a competitive smartphone. Sony could reveal the phone during MWC Barcelona 2023, which kicks off later this month, but the actual release might still be some months away. Guys, thanks for watching this video, please share it with your friends, see you in the next one, good luck to all!